So remember that the prefrontal cortex is where learning, thinking, and reasoning takes place, okay? So what you see, when you see prefrontal cortex here, um, that's where the, think about everything that you do in your classroom, everything that you plan your lessons for. It's dependent on your students being in this particular state of mind. The problem is not, they're not always in that state of mind, right? So when you're in a positive emotional state, in, uh, the sensory input, any information is passed on to the prefrontal cortex. Think about your amygdala basically like a security guard. Your security guard is um, protecting you basically. So it's gonna say either yes or no. Either the information can pass through, that's fine, go ahead. You can go ahead and think about this or it's gonna say, nope, get out. And it's gonna trigger a fight, flight. Why can't I say this? Fight, flight or freeze response. So think about, picture that security guard in your head. If it says, um, and you'll also notice here that see the arrow is pointing away from the prefrontal cortex. If the amygdala decides that this, something is going to harm you or trigger that response, their information is not going to your prefrontal cortex, which is where all of the logical thinking takes place which explains why you make such terrible decisions when you are in a stressed state, because your brain will not allow you to do higher order thinking. It's just the way that it is. That's the way that your brain is wired. 